All right, here we go. 1965 GM PD 4106. We'll do a walk around. It's got Alcoa wheels all the way around it. Tires have about 3,000 miles on it, and they are, let's see, 2014 tires. So they're just a couple of years old. Like brand new. Alright. Auxiliary gas tank for the generator. I believe that is 30 gallons. We have a Generat low noise 7500 generator. Brand new battery. The stuff to put power steering on the bus because it currently does not have power steering. One huge open bay. Power converters behind there. I don't know if you can see it. There's your gray water tank, black water tank at the bottom, water pump. Stepped up on the inside is a, I believe it's a 150 gallon fresh water tank. Battery banks, 28D starting batteries, they are good. The house batteries. Those right there I actually took out of my boat. The ones that go in it, it takes four. They're sitting over there. They need to be replaced. So these batteries will have to be replaced if you buy it. Get alcohol wheels. Tires are always covered if the bus isn't rolling. And there's your shoreline. As well as your cable line. Radiator door. This guy's a 8V71. I have all kinds of documentation inside the bus. Onboard propane tanks. The other side of the open bay. Of course, behind that door right there, it's a 140 gallon diesel fuel tank. Front bay has a extra blower fan for the onboard heat and everything. Wheel still covered. It does have peninsula windows on the side. Windshields are new. Doors and the driver's window are peninsula as well. The only windows that ain't been replaced are the D windows. It's got a couch, obviously. Chairs. All oak cabinets. It does have a gas furnace that sits below there. Suburban. One TV. Got a gas and electric refrigerator. It's got a gas and electric 12 gallon, I think, hot water heater. The gas stove. Sink. Come back into the bedroom. Again, oak cabinets. Flat screen TV. Bathroom, small but functional. If we had kept it, we were gonna rearrange it just a little bit, make a few changes. Since I got it, I did add that light there and one here and one up front. There's runoff 12 volt. Uh, there's a 12 volt and uh, a 110 light, I believe, that's under that cabinet there, one above the stove, and one in the bathroom as well. It does have a radio speakers. It has an amp behind that uh, aluminum plate right there, 10 disc CD changer. Bus does need some updating. But it rolls down the road very, very well.
speedometer is the only thing that don't work on the bus. It's got an oversized compressor on it. So as you can see, it'll air up pretty damn quick. Tidal works. All your switches, temp range, headlights, all that good stuff. Go back out here. Got three rooftop airs I forgot to mention inside antenna. Bus does need a paint job. I said new windshield. Peninsula glass all around, except for the D windows. New mirrors. Oh yeah, of course it's got the fold down thing for your passenger. I added these. Got a filing cabinet that was in it when I got it and I actually pulled that TV over and set it over here and run the cable over to where we could do it that way. Idle off. I said uh, 10 disc changer, WC radio, JVC speaker. There's an amp behind here. There's some lights. Microwave. Cabinets. Uh, manuals. All kind. Of, all that right there is all history on the bus. Goes all the way back. Uh, that motor is not the original motor to the bus. Uh, it was replaced two owners ago and then the last owner did an end frame uh, supposed to have 60,000 miles on it okay again um, 8B71 motor was replaced uh, two owners ago the man that actually converted the bus uh, the last owner had an end frame done on the replacement motor it's got N65 injectors new pistons uh, new sleeves uh, pretty much new everything in it. It's supposed to have 60,000 miles on it. Uh, the only thing I've done with it is the bottom of the muffler was rotted out and I welded all it back up with the new pieces on it and put a new tailpipe on it. Uh, oil does need to be changed. Yeah, if I keep it, I will do that. Um, the bus has a hitch on it, so um, backup camera or a spot for a backup camera. There's not one currently hooked up. There is one in there, but it's not hooked up. So, like I said, bus is straight, runs well. Um, Four-speed Spicer, so if you can't drive a Spicer, you might give it a second thought. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It's unsynchronized. Uh, other than that, the bus runs really, really well. It'll run 70 miles an hour, and it'll, it'll do it all day long. So, uh, that's pretty much it.